Welcome back to our channel. Before we proceed further, here's an NBA tidbit for you. The NBA's first female executive, Pam Batalis, was hired by the Miami Heat in 2006. Now, let's dive back into our video. Bill Russell, the Celtics' defensive mentor. When talking about the Boston Celtics' success in the 1960s, it is impossible not to mention Bill Russell. Russell, a legendary basketball player and one of the greatest defenders the sport has ever seen, played a crucial role in the team's numerous championships during that decade. Beyond his impressive statistics and achievements, Russell's impact on the Celtics and his teammates is truly remarkable. Born in 1934 in Louisiana, Russell faced adversity early in his life. Growing up in a segregated society, he experienced discrimination and inequality firsthand. However, he found solace and passion in basketball, a sport that would eventually catapult him into stardom. Russell attended the University of San Francisco, where he guided his team to back-to-back -back NCAA championships in 1955 and 1956. In 1956, Russell joined the Boston Celtics in the NBA as the team's center and immediately made an impact. Apart from his imposing stature and athletic abilities, it was his defensive prowess that set him apart from his peers. Russell revolutionized the concept of defense in basketball, becoming the epitome of a skilled defender. Russell's defensive style was like no other. He possessed an uncanny ability to anticipate his opponent's moves, often denying them scoring opportunities through his shot-blocking skills. His timing and jumping ability were unmatched, allowing him to block shots without fouling. Moreover, Russell was a master of defensive positioning, constantly disrupting his opponent's offensive plays and forcing turnovers. Aside from his individual defensive brilliance, it was Russell's influence on his teammates that truly made a difference. He instilled a defensive mindset in the entire Celtics team, emphasizing the importance of team defense over individual achievements. Russell understood that winning championships required a collective effort, and he took it upon himself to lead by example. Russell's leadership on the defensive end was unparalleled. He served as the defensive anchor for the Celtics, organizing the team's defensive rotations and orchestrating their defensive strategies. He was often seen directing his teammates on the court, communicating with them and providing guidance. Russell's presence alone was intimidating to opponents, knowing they had to face not just an individual defender, but an entire defensive system built around him. The Celtics' defensive success during the 1960s can be attributed to Russell's mentorship. Under his guidance, the team developed a reputation for their suffocating defense, earning them the nickname the Boston Strangler. Russell's defensive philosophy became ingrained in the Celtics' culture, and his teammates embraced it wholeheartedly. Throughout his career, Russell won an astounding 11 NBA championships, an incredible feat by any standards. His impact on the game extended beyond his playing days, as he became the first African-American coach in the NBA and later an influential civil rights advocate. In conclusion, Bill Russell's legacy as a defensive mentor for the Boston Celtics is unparalleled. His defensive style and leadership transformed the Celtics into a defensive powerhouse during the 1960s. Russell's ability to inspire his teammates and his dedication to team defense set him apart from other players of his era. His impact on the game of basketball and his contribution to civil rights make him a true icon of the sport, the sport, the sport.